We just showed during the break the live look in uh, Tom Brady's outfit for the uh, Met Gala. I did not see Benny Agbayani there, uh, Fr- uh, Fritzy. Did you? I did not see him. Bobby Ojeda. I thought Mackie Sasser for sure would be walking. Yeah. Around. So the uh, the Met Gala. Those Mets. Those are all Mets. Yeah, Met. See that? See this? I like how Seaton's looking at me, going, "What are you talking about?" Benny Agbayani. Oh, Mets. Yeah, there Mets you go. Yeah. Sid Fernandez was there though. I think he was accompanying Rihanna. Matt Harvey was asked to leave. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Kevin McReynolds was an usher, which is strange. You just, you could just enjoy the party and have to work. Uh, Tom had an interesting outfit. Uh, social media kind of roughed him up a little bit. I'm trying to figure out how I would describe it if you didn't see the picture. First of all, he's with Giselle. Giselle looks like, you know, a billion dollars. I'm guessing that the outfit was picked out to complement her dress. It looks like Versace. I think they're, uh, they're wearing Versace. Would be my guess there. It looks like Versace. It looks like Versace. The, the Versace bullfighting collection. Who do you have on? Classic I have Versace. Versace pipey. I have Versace. And then you have sort of a, an ornate. He could be a third world leader where, you know, you have those faux con. Like, remember uh, Qaddafi? Colonel Qaddafi? He would have, like, these tassels. And By the way, who calls himself a colonel if you run a country? Like, wouldn't you be king or general, emperor, <laughs> president? I'm a colonel. Okay. So Brady has uh, some kind of design on his lapel z- that uh, it looks Steven Seagal-ish for me. It, it did. It looked like something Steven Seagal would wear and we would make fun of. I'm okay with it because Giselle's okay with it. And that's the only person you have to please. So if, I'm going to guess Giselle said, Tommy, I have this outfit. I need you to wear this. And then Tom probably said, okay. Yes, Paul. I, I did some research on this. I guess you're supposed to dress dress showy at this. It's outlandish. Like a, outlandish. Yes. yes. Yeah. So it, he yeah. Ma- he matched well. Well, it, did you see Rihanna's outfit? She dressed. She had like a a papal hat on. <laughs> she looked like she was dressed like the Pope. I think people have more of a problem than that than they do. Tom's got something on his lapels. What happens if this becomes? Sort of a fashion trend. In Boston? Maybe not in Boston. In Southie? But <laughs> remember the Uggs made fun of Brady with the Uggs? And then Uggs sort of became mainstream? I don't know if this this lapel look is going to become mainstream. I'm hoping it doesn't. Would anybody wear this tonight? Seton, Tom Brady apologist, would you wear this tonight? Mm-hmm. That's a no. Probably not. I could see Andrew wearing that. Suck it back row. What about you guys? Honestly, it, I would wear something outrageous, but that was tough. That's a tough look to pull off. I definitely couldn't pull that off. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not really comfortable in turtlenecks. I, really, I just don't like all that fabric. Well, that's the problem neck. I had. Believe it or not, I had more of a problem with the turtleneck than I did the actual suit. And he does look like he could be somebody in Vegas. Like Siegfried and Roy and Tom. Siegfried and Roy, Roy and Tom. And, and, their, and their other brother, Tom. Siegfried, Roy, and their stepbrother, Tom. The, the guy with the rings. <laughs> it's a five ring circus. Oh! oh! oh there you go. Boom, Fritzy. That's how you there pay you off a bit. Yeah. Boom. So now at the Excalibur. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app. 